Good. What is this? Fruits. Fruits. Do you like fruits? Yes. Do you like fruits? Okay. Do you know all this food want to be eaten by you? Yeah. They love to be eaten by people. They, they want to be taken care of by people. So if you take good care of the fruit trees, if you prune them, if you harvest them, they feel better, woohoo, and then they give you better fruits, uh, or they grew better. If you don't harvest them or taking care of them, they feel like, ah. but if you harvest them and take good care of them and they give you wonderful, juicy fruit. Do you know why they behave like that? Yeah, yeah, God, 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 somehow they sense that they, they are created for this. God created them to be like this. So when they, when you eat them, you harvest them, they feel wonderful. Yeah, this is why I am created and give, and give you better food and so on. Now think about, think about juicy fruit that you love the most. Think about fruit that you love. Do you know that God, God is more, in a sense, yummy and delicious than any food in the world? Yeah. That's why God can create this kinds of fruit, because God knows, God knows how we, what we like, and what our taste like, and then God can create us, uh, create us, and then fruits so that we can enjoy and so on. So if we step back and think about all this, God is more delicious than all the fruits. Like a bananas, let's say you love bananas. This is how in the tree we see the bananas. Let's say you love bananas. God is more delicious than bananas. That's why God can create bananas and give it to you. And God also knows you very well. That's why God can create this, knowing exactly what you like and how you like and so on. And in the Bible, God also has written many, many juicy truth. We say truth, God's words. Sometimes these words are much more testier than fruits or anything in this world. And this truth in the Bible explains about who God is. And that God, the Bible explains God who knows us so much more than we do. So we can be very honest to God. We don't have to hide anything. God, you know me. You know what I think. You know who I am. So I'm just going to be honest to you. And then we can pray like that. You know how I feel. Lord, help me. Help me to be like Jesus. So as we're looking at the fruits, we know that God knows what we like and knows all about us. So let's come to God very honestly and talk to God and get to know God. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for creating us and thank you for creating all these wonderful fruits. Thank you for helping us to love you and love your son Jesus. Thank you for Jesus who loves us more than anything. We pray this in Jesus' name.